Good morning, Patrick Henry. It's Friday, October the 23rd, and we have just finished our seventh week of school. It's hard to believe. Thanks to all the teachers for their hard work and to the students for working hard as well. Uh, I know that you're learning. I've been in some classrooms, and you guys are doing a great, great job. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In September, our students celebrated International Dot Day during their light bulb lab resource time. In years past, we have celebrated Dot Day by creating giant dots to display in the school, wearing dot clothing, and having fun exploring our creativity and making our mark. This year was no different, except we went virtual with our celebration. All of our students participated in different activities to celebrate the book, The Dot, and their own creative endeavors. Kindergarten and first grade students listened to Peter Reynolds read his book, and then using materials that they had on hand, they created their own dot, which they shared with the rest of the class virtually. Our second through fifth grade classes, pumped it up a little bit, and used the Google Draw app to create their own special dots. After listening to the book and talking about how to make your mark by starting with a dot, the students were given permission to be as creative as they could be using the app. These are some amazing creations. Not only are they colorful, bright, and exciting to look at, but they also show that our students are ready for the future, however it takes them. So I hope you'll enjoy sharing this time looking at all of our different dots and just how creative we are. And in the words of Peter Reynolds, make your mark and see where it takes you. Hey friends! This week in science, we're going to start our special sit spot routine. A sit spot is a place that you choose, that you get to sit somewhere where you can enjoy nature and practice your skills as a scientist. This is going to work to make the drawing as realistic as possible so that it really represents what our sit spot view looks like. For a little plant walk down my street and through my neighborhood. What we're looking for is we're looking for flowering plants. Story today about plants, specifically trees, and how they change throughout the season. But if you want to follow along, I need you to pull out a pair of magic gloves. And next week, you can look forward to learning about all kinds of jobs that have to do with gardening, landscaping, plants, weather, being outdoors. If this project felt exciting to you and you loved doing it, maybe you can think about a job for when you grow up that involves those things. Actually, it doesn't sound like anything, remember? We're just being silly. And the sun is coming out because it's springtime. So I want you to kind of start growing, wiggle your body up because it's the spring and you're growing. It's also raining. So you can rain it down with your fingertips. Go ahead and do that. Rain it down. And it's the summer and it's Today you're gonna to transfer your seedlings into your container gardens. Before you put any dirt into your containers, make sure you've got some good holes on the bottom for drainage. See any seeds in there? Any plants? I, I only see seeds. Yeah, seeds I think that's seeds. fertilizer. Say sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
my um my first um three plants my brother broke both of them down and when I brought my other I brought my other one to school um a friend pulled the root out so it's broken so we had to plant all of these um um and, and these are my two container gardens. Do you want to tell her what? And, and this is my picture I draw. Beautiful. And what a plant needs needs sun, rain. These are the kachas for the week, and my friend Milo is here to listen to our kachas, so I hope you enjoy watching Milo. Miss Schwartz has a kacha for, for uh, Sydney Beck, always being on time and ready to read to our reading group in the afternoon. Tyshawn Mead for working hard to listen to his Nana and to Miss Schwartz during class time. Zoe Melton for working very, very hard from her um, distractions. She, she has distractions at her daycare, but she stays focused and she gets her work done. Um, and she had some technology issues during map testing, but she didn't get upset and she handled it like a pro. Cooper Haywood for always participating in the chat box and having answers ready during class time. Carmen Racinos and Oliver West are being recognized today for always being prepared for class and consistently participating. Great job. All right, Ms. Spangler would like to recognize all of the resource teachers for their hard work and their amazing classes. Um, her daughter Lucy loves all of her classes and um, she loves how Ms. Chamblin takes time out, especially during class, to check in with every single student and have a quick chat with them. It makes the kids feel so special. Um, so Ms. Spangler, parent, is recognizing all of our resource teachers for being the amazing people they are and for their creativity. Next up, we have Kachas from Ms. Hamlet in fifth grade. Samia Nasir for being a science cheerleader. She co complimented the students on their hard work on their Cell City projects. Ms. Um, Hamlet would also like to recognize Elliot Smith, Anna Fontenla, Sonny DeJoseph, Max Bausch for always being willing to help students when they need it. Jason Pena, Deshaun, Jalise Melson, River Hughes, Rian, Aaron Bowling, Max, Samia, Ramaya Johnson, Mackay, Alyssa James, Zavi, Ashaya Saluki, uh, Zavi Lavalle, Gianna Crawford, and Elliot Smith for going above and beyond. They have come to a 3 p.m. study science trivia. 
Ms. Uh, Hamlet would also like to recognize these students for always actively participating and raising their hands to answer questions and being willing to take a chance and explain their thinking. Mateo, Edison, Jaden, Jalise, Zavi, Jason, Benny, Jaquela McMorris, Ariana, Aiden, Sunny, Aaron Bowling, Sophia Farina, Tripp, Ramaya, Amira Meredith, Oliver Coffey, and Sierra Durrett, always being willing to help out and be good students. Sydney Jones is a new student to Patrick Henry this year in fifth grade. She's done um, been an addition to fifth grade that has been excellent. She always participates and gives great thoughtful answers in class. And Miss Hamlet would like to recognize Ashaya for always showing extraordinary patience. Miss Dryling in first grade has some kachas. Makai always raises his hand and waits to be called on. Lena always has all of her materials nearby and follows along with the class as we do activities. And Malaysia, she can count by tens to 100 now. Great work on learning this new math skill. Congratulations. Miss Swift in third grade has a few kachas today. Kylan and Donovan for always being so patient with Miss Brookman while she assists others during map practice testing. Declan for taking his time completing his reading maps. And to Carly, Aiden, Olivia, Amir, Christopher, Vera, Cherish, Waverly, Shanasia, Cameron, Lillian, Xavier, and Augusta for attending our rounding clinic to improve their rounding skills. That's great. Thank you for putting that extra time into your learning. It will pay off. So good job, students. Miss Pendleton is recognizing Melby, who jumped right in to get to know her classmates, even though she's new to Patrick Henry this year. She has been so friendly and kind. She is always participating both in whole group and in small group. Stormy Joy. Stormy Joy is such a hard worker. She is always on time to her small group lessons and tries her best every single day. She raises her hand when she wants to share and she stays on mute when it's time to listen. Jasper is always ready to share an answer during our morning lesson. He is kind and listens to his classmates every day. Thanks for being so joyful. Cameron is a great student. He shares often, he raises his hand to answer questions during every lesson, and he listens carefully to his teacher and classmates. And those are our coaches for the week. So if you weren't called this week, maybe next week, if you listen to what people, uh, our teachers are recognizing their students for and reporting it out to me, and I can shout it out to everybody. If you're listening carefully, you might want to copy some of those things that those other students are doing to get recognized. But I'm so proud of all of you. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing to be able to recognize so many students today. That tells me that you all are doing your jobs and you're working hard. So thank you, teachers, and thank you, students. With that, we will close our Friday morning for this week, and we will see you next time. Say bye, Milo. Bye.